the Hollywood Spotlight, presenting an all-star review from the entertainment center of the world, Hollywood. This is Tom Jeffrey bringing you another array of talent on our Hollywood Spotlight Review. The Five Jones Boys, Bill Harris and his orchestra and beautiful Leah Ray, our Hollywood troubadour Larry Burke, and of course, our old friend Bob Byrne. <laughs> well now, let's hear from those dusky purveyors of stomp and rhythm, the Five Jones Boys, and then Phil, you follow right through. Tell me, and incidentally you, that the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Now, of course, the only trouble with that is you're liable to mistake indigestion for a broken heart. Anyway, I'll ask Leah Ray if she can cook. Here I go again inquiring about those good things.
I'm still trying with all my might. Yes, I know. Still trying to curb that growing appetite. That's right. But it seems that my palate is still the master of my ways. Now, I know it seems ridiculous. Well, do you mean when you're romancing? Sure. And even when I'm dancing, it seems that I haven't eaten in days. Well, uh, that has nothing to do with our love. Oh, yes, it has. So take heed by all the stars above. Would you change your way of living? Why, I'd even buy a diamond ring. Could we have a nice, cute little apartment? Yeah, a dog and everything. We wouldn't need a love nest beside a babbling brook. No, honey. If you could only cook. Have you looked the whole town over? Why, I've canvassed every door. In your back like little rover? Yeah, to plead and to implore. You're a ship without a shipmate. Yes, I'm taken. Dear, I'm took. Oh, sweetheart, if you could only cook. They say that uh, pastries are your weakness, Bill. Well, they are. But in time, I'm sure you'd learn all the recipes. Oh, sure. And if you're growing thinner, how about a good home-cooked dinner? Gee, that sounds delicious. That would suit me most substantially. Will you stay at home forever? And how happy we can be. With love and little vitamins. Yeah, say A and B and E. Would you throw away your golf club? Sweetheart, I wouldn't even read a book. Oh, if you could only cook a little. My kisses are superb. Sure, but you ought to know by now that I need those omelets for my verb. Oh, Phil, it would be heaven in our cozy little nook. Yes, it would, honey. If you could only cook. Would you always be meek and mild? Well, I'm going to try to be warm and willing. Would you ever get weak and go wild? Stop it, honey. Your biscuits are killing. Oh, Phil, you told me I was pretty. Sure, and I don't need a second look. Oh, if you could only cook. If you should see a blue-eyed blonde, would you be on the make? Absolutely not. You'll give me plenty of fried onions with that steak. Would you care for fancy dishes like a chicken on the glass? Oh, at last you got me. I could really go for that. Would you always love me and adore me? Well, honey, those are cinches. Would you be my big protector? Yes, I'm going to be right there with you in the clinches. Would you give up your other sweeties? Oh, I'd give them all the hook. Sweetheart, if you could only cook. Phil, what are you going to give me for my birthday? What am I going to give you for your birthday? Uh huh. I already have it picked out. Oh. It's a beautiful gold plated can opener. And here he is once more, ladies and gentlemen, stepping out on our stage in his old blackface makeup to be interviewed by Johnny Murray. <laughs> Johnny, who's your guest? Robert Burns, ladies and gentlemen, who sincerely thinks that Whistler's mother was a roller canary. Hello, soda pop. Say, say, I saw you the other day out driving. Did you see me in my car? Yeah, well, what kind of a car is that? Well, that's a Fritz Chrysler. No, 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 no. Fritz Chrysler is a violinist, a fiddler. Yeah, that's what I use my car for, just to kind of fiddle around in. Well, what's that? Oh, that, 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 that? That is the funniest car and the noisiest car I ever saw. No, sir, that car ain't noisy. Yeah. You see, that car won a race one time, and it's still applauding itself with its fenders. <laughs> Look, what's the idea of driving with the doors hanging open? Well, you see, uh, my wife, she sits in the back seat, mm -hmm. and she's so fat that every time she leans back, the doors fly open. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what, what makes your wife so fat, do you think? Well, she don't take the proper reducing exercise. Oh, well, what, what, what are the proper reducing exercises? Well, you shake your head from left to right whenever anybody asks you if you want some more food. Oh, I see, I see. Well, well, well what, what does she eat mostly? Well, she eats mostly pig's feet. 
Well, look, pig's feet are hard to digest, aren't they? Yeah, they bad. They give it a colic. Mm. Many a time I had to run down to the drugstore and get a box of Allen's footies. Well, what, 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 uh, what, what, what is your wife's name? Her name is Lobelia, but she ain't my wife anymore, Mr. Murray. Yes. No, she left me. What'd she leave you for? Well, well the times got pretty hard and I couldn't keep her in pig's feet. Uh, but but the, the main reason she left me is because I said grace. Yeah, but that's funny. A woman should be glad to have a man who says grace at the table. Yeah, but I didn't say it at the table. I said it in my sleep. <laughs> oh. I, I saw her on the street today, and she done married a politician. Married already? That woman don't fool around about it, Mr. Wood. <laughs> and she was all dressed up in a green silk dress. Mm -hmm. It wasn't no common, ordinary silk either. It wasn't? No, sir. That, that was rayon. Rayon? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, and, and she, she walked along, and, and I could just hear her swish. <laughs> and she, I, I tried to talk to her and tried to tell her to come on home, but she turned her nose up at me. Oh, my. There's only one thing that keep me from feeling real bad about that. What's that? Her, her nose has already turned up some anyhow. <laughs> I see. What'd you so, finally do? Well, well, finally I says to her, honey, if you come on home, I'll get you a great big mess of them pig's feet. You know what she said? No, what'd she say? She said, go away from here, boy. I's eating higher up on the hog now. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, Bob. Now, here's the troubadour of Hollywood, Larry Burke. Tell me, dear, do you miss me 